lasciato il divino. Ascolta, venite. della mia casa fuoco il ragazzo è stato scelto per la sua perfezione mentale Sie bitten, meine Herren. Die gleiche Dach auf eine Art und Weise verändert durch eine Erfindung unserer Wissenschaft. Das arme Tier, wie Sie sehen, werden es zweimal klug, zweimal schön. state cavi umane
It's called Project Rebirth, Mr. President. Dr. Vaselli, a scientist who escaped from Italy, has perfected a process that can take a boy with birth defects and make him as fast and as strong as an athlete. Hitler already has a version of this super soldier, an Italian boy called the Red Skull. We will have a regiment of these men, and we found our first volunteer out in California. His name is Steve Rogers. Since his pop was killed in this Becky. war, Steve's been Becky, determined to get into it. I'll be here to get you in a few minutes. I love you, Mom. Come on, guys. We're gonna get one last shot of the whole gang, okay? The uh, departing hero with his beloved friends. Come on. Let's go. Mm. Hey, everybody. Just a minute, Russ. Sorry, everybody. We, we can't do this without Bernie. Bernie! Bernie! Imagine not knowing what you're doing or where you're going. Give him hell for me, Rod. I'll do that, John. I'll wait for you. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Dr. Vizelli? A little scared, Steve? A lot scared.
follow my lead. Fair enough, Lieutenant Fleming. This doesn't seem necessary for girls to go to college, honey. How's the pot roast today, Roz? Oh, about as good as it was yesterday. Hmm. Well, we'll just hang up our coats. Do whatever you want whenever that's done. Mussolini's Italy. You are free to change your mind whenever you... Save it. Okay, Doctor. Because of you, I have the chance to make a wrong thing right. I thank you for that. Commencing stage one. So this process can take a frail boy with polio, give him the strength and speed of a world-class athlete. Think what kind of army we'll have. Let's just make sure our boy comes out of this safe and sound before we go counting our chickens. Where'd you get your guinea pig? Happens to be the best damn candidate out of 600 volunteers. It's gonna be a national hero. Stand by for a move to Not stage exactly. Two. His name's a secret. Only Dr. Vaselli and myself know who he really is. We kept it that way to protect his family. For the rest of the world, he's just codenamed Captain America. He may not be Superman, but he'll be a living symbol of what this country stands for. Begin the infusion. With the breaker commencing stage two. Observer sent by President Roosevelt. Oh, remarkable work, Dr. Vaselli. Congratulations. Doctor, I need that boy ready for action in the next 48 hours. Colonel, that young man is lucky to have survived the surgery. I'm on a level with you, Doctor. What's at stake here? is the lives of thousands of innocent people. Our intelligence boys have told us that the Jerrys have an experimental rocket ready to fire at a target somewhere in the United States within the next five days. We're just gonna have to wait and see. 
He's our only hope, Doctor. If the situation changes, I'll certainly let you know. Colonel? Colonel Lewis? Where did you say that launch site was? Their shield? Could have used a little more time to practice. Like about a month. Don't you worry. You're gonna have those two resistance fellas down there to take you through that launch site like they was escorting you to the senior prom. Besides, you got that crazy fireproof uniform Dr. Vaselli made up for you. She didn't know much about camouflage. <laughs> nope. But she sure did love the red, white, and blue. Sir, there's something nobody's talked about. When do I get some fresh troops in my battalion? Dr. Vaselli had all the details to the process in her head, not written down. Same for whatever she made the uniform and the shield out of. She thought it was safer that way. I'm sorry, I believe that you're the only one of you there's ever gonna be. Ready! You ready, son? Yeah, yeah. I won't let America down, sir. Just when I am needing help of my English lessons. 
It seems the Americans have made a poor choice for their champion. Pity him! He is like a child! Dr. Vasily has died a failure. Where is the pen of my aunt? The pen of my aunt is on the table. Ah, am I saying ah. right, American? I want good English to speak when I am getting to New York! Ah. Ah. Stormtruppen vom Abschussplatz weg! You are a perfect symbol of America, my brother. Weak and self-pitious. You have even failed to teach me English, but... Uh... I am much practicing while you sleep. Where is the big bomb going? The big bomb is going to the... Uh, to the... Uh, are you say Casabianca? No, no, don't tell me. I know. It's White House. A present for President Roosevelt. Tell me, do you think... I could be president of the United States someday. 15, 14, 13, 12. Wait. Say, listen to me. No time, flyboy. Two can travel cheaply as one, you sick bastard. Now stop the launch. Stop it or I'm taking you with me. Oh, disgraziato. Here. Unmöglich! Es ist zu spät! Zu spät! This is no time! Oh. Falling hands! Amazing! No!
and this guy on the rocket broke the wing and stopped it from blowing up the whole White House and President Roosevelt. You believe me, don't you, Sam? Uh, believe you? Pictures don't lie, neither do best friends. It's a good thing I am your friend. You know why you didn't get blown up, don't you? Why? Because I loaned you my Captain Midnight Lucky Decoder. You had it on, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <sighs> you see, I told you it worked. Thanks a lot, Sam. Hey, it's okay. See, just got to figure out who it was. Did he have a trident? No, we didn't have a trident. Okay, so it wasn't Submariner, and it couldn't have been Human Torch. So we would have blown up the rocket before it could land. Did he wear a mask? Yeah, it was blue with a white A on it. Very interesting, Tom. Gosh, this one like a swell story for the school paper. It was the greatest thing I ever saw. And I'll never forget it, Sam. Never, ever. Never, ever. Unconditional surrender of Japan. Tom Kimball graduates today as a representative of a new post-war generation that will lead the world into the space age. Pay any price, bear any burden, oppose any foe. I heard Tom Kimball joined to go to Vietnam because he felt it was his obligation as an American. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I have never been a quitter. Old Tom gave up his practice to go help out in Africa. His conscience wouldn't allow him to sit and do nothing about the poverty there. There was a time in this nation's history when people took responsibility for the world they lived in. And by God, I think it's time we got back to that. Good evening. Thomas Kimball was elected last night on a platform that one man can make a difference. Thomas Kimball was elected President of the United States by the narrowest margin in history. President Kimball leaves this week for Rome, where he will join the leaders of 27 nations for a historic summit. There, he will attempt to negotiate a multilateral ban of environmentally damaging industrial practices. We're going to have to find millions of new jobs for the people who make disposable plastics, toxins, household pesticides. bad medicine and nobody said the medicine was going to taste any good but can we afford not to take it I don't think so if we don't take this medicine now we'll all die slowly but we'll die General Fleming. Mr. President, well, i just been reading your environmental guidelines bill here. It ain't gonna work, sir. General Fleming, the environmental guidelines stand as written, and I don't think you or the Pentagon have enough senators in your pocket to change them. Well, sir, I, I want to live on a, a clean planet just as much as the next fella. You just simply can't expect us to cut back on our solid waste 90% in six months. So you want to make a deal? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, of course I do, sir. Then go buy a used car. General, have a real good day. Yes, sir, I'll certainly try, sir. By the way, Mr. President, good luck in Rome, sir. After the war, when I was known as the Red Skull, my life was in ruins. You gentlemen gave me assistance, so now how may I help you? I understand you face a little threat from this American president. If Kimball ain't stopped, you're gonna see everything that you worked for and planned for for the last 30 years go right down the crapper. And so fast it'll make your head spin. 
Aren't you being a little dramatic, General? No, no, he's not. Oh, I've got the crap, got the crap. All I want to know is when we're going to kill the little son of a bitch. And how? We don't kill him at all. We don't? No. Assassination is the word of trouble. It took me two years to find Sirhan. Three to find Oswald. The King job alone cost us over $22 million. And what do we get for all our pains? Saints. Martyrs to the goals. You, my friends, are statesmen, generals, captains of industry. I am only a humble businessman who doubles in science. Before you make your decision, may I suggest that instead of killing Kimball, we control him using a brain implant I have invented. Then he will do whatever we wish. Hier drüben habe ich das gefunden. Was ist das? Ich weiß nicht. Okay, also irgendwie. Ist mir ist gruselig vor dem Ding. Also hopp, hopp. Over and out. Oh, okay, guys. The company helicopter can't be here for another eight hours because of bad weather. Now, I know it's kind of creepy being in here with this thing, but that's the way the company wants it, so <laughs> what are you going to do about it? What the hell is this thing? Yeah, what? Sam, they found the guy on the rocket ship. It's a miracle, Sam. <laughs> to think, I, I, I could actually talk to this guy. Well, you sure it's not some kind of crazy hoax? Remember the picture I took when I was a kid? <laughs> the guy that saved the White House. Oh, they found wow. him in Alaska. If this is true, the good Lord could be giving us a key to this whole thing we've been trying to crack. Sam. If this guy has met Red Skull face to face, there's no telling what he could know about him. Can you spare me the conspiracy theory just this once? Just go run your goddamn country. I'm a little busy here. I gotta go up in the attic, get my long johns. down to the second, and background on everyone on his security staff. Consider it done, Mr. Sensus. It's here. 
Captain America. You must intend to stop me. Can I count on my daughter to take care of this for me? Absolutely. Officials met with their U.S. counterparts in Washington today to discuss the enduring problems associated with acid rain. Prime Minister McKenzie emerged from... once where they tried to do this to some English spy. Fake newspapers, fake radio, the whole thing. I guess it wouldn't do much if I were to tell you that the President of the United States has sent me to find you on a matter of global importance. Not much. It's October 17th, 1993. Okay. <laughs> it's still 1943 and I am a Nazi spy. So why am I asking you questions about my own side? Look, you mind? Just tell me everything you know about a guy they called the Red Skull. It could be 1492 for all I care. Yeah, he's still alive. We don't know where he is or who he is. We know that he's using the name he used before the war. He's had extensive plastic surgery. And we know that he is a kingpin in a powerful international cartel which I believe is responsible for a great deal of the pain and misery on this entire planet. 
You see, I have got proof that this Red Skull guy was closely involved in the murders of Robert Kennedy, John Kennedy, Martin Luther King. Jesus. You don't even know who I'm talking about, do you? Look, the important thing is this. The Red Skull's next target is President Kimball. And if this country loses Tom Kimball, it will be a disaster. Captain America, you gotta help us. There was a scientist, uh, an Italian. Uh, her name was uh, Dr. Uh, Vasily. Dr. Vasily? Yeah. Now, she would have known what his name was before. Uh, she's got some papers or a diary. Would you know where she would have left them? Would you pull the car over, please? I think I'm going to be sick. What? Would you please pull over the car? I am going to get sick. Oh, okay, all right. Are you okay? You, you, yeah. No. 
Know this guy? Yes, I do. This can't be real. It is. Everyone kept saying that missing in action was just another way of saving blown to smithereens. But I never believed them. Not for one second. I knew you were alive. I guess that's why I kept the house. So you'd know where to find me. Jack is a, a good man. He's a good father. I was 38. I wanted to have children before it was too late. You waited for me? For 16 years? the reporter who interfered under electronic surveillance. Home, but what good does that do us? We don't know who he is, much less where he lives. That's why I never reported and you're just a president. I got a hot date with an old file. He's a famous reporter, Papa. Pulitzer Prize twice. If anyone can lead us to Captain America, he can.
There's a Bernice Cooperman living at 90 Bristol Court, Redondo Beach, California, and she's been living there since 1937. Gold Jet, Captain America's in California. <laughs> your apartment, Sharon. Yeah, sure. I guess they didn't have VCRs up where you were. Nope. And movies didn't come in little black boxes and you couldn't check them out of the library. We will be able to speed up that day with all the frogs children. I'll get it, sweetheart. Bernie Stewart. I used to be. May I help you? You have no reason to trust me, I know that. But it's very important that I find Captain America as soon as possible. I don't know who you are, but I'm not interested in anything you're saying. Please, you. please, I'm on your side. I, I can prove it to you. I've just got to... Ah! Hey! Oh! 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 Dad! Where is he? He's Captain America! Keep a diary. And I bet it has the Red Skull's real name in it. Hello? Kept asking her what Captain America was. She didn't tell him. He even met What? Daddy? He'll be all right, man. Minor gunshot. Mostly it's a shock. We're going to take him to St. John's. Wait a second. Where's my mother? gonna do without my mom I'm really sorry but I can't let you stay any longer
approximately 11.49 Eastern Standard Time, the President of the United States was abducted from his hotel in Rome by a large group of unidentified terrorists. The details at this hour are sketchy, but our sources have learned that a group of 20 heavily armed men stormed the hotel. It is not known at this hour if the President was harmed during the abduction. The purpose of the kidnapping and the identity of the terrorists both remain a mystery at this hour. In Rome, God, this General world. Sanford Fleming has been selected to the same a people. joint U.S. Italian operation. What are you talking about? The, General the people that abducted the president are the same ones that came to your mother's house. Dr. Vizelli's diaries. All I can say right now, Barbara, is that uh, we're developing some very strong leads. And, uh, and if we can all remain calm and work together on this, well, there's no reason in the world we shouldn't have some good news by tomorrow morning. And now, if you'll excuse me, uh, Barbara, it's going to be a very long night for all of us. The lab was under a diner in the old days. Should be right about here. It's all true. Where is she? <laughs> Vaselli's diary. Got it. Diary. I'll take that for the Red Skull.
for Bernie. Red Skull. I don't know nothing. None of us do. Oh. We get our orders from the Red Skull's daughter. summer in Venice. Wait, here it is. I never learned the poor boy's name, but I did hear that he came from a town called Porta Venere in northern Italy. The child was taken from a house on the Via Cavour, the Casa del Tre Angeli. House of Three Angels. Maybe someone in Porta Venere knows the Red Skull's name when he was a boy. You guys still here? Why don't you do it and get it over with? Ooh, I wish I could, Mr. President, but um, unfortunately, those chemicals have to act on the brain for 24 hours before the tissues become receptive to the implant. Are you just psycho? Or is there something in particular you're after? After? Why? I get to be President of the United States. Isn't that every boy's dream? How stupid do you think we are? My people will find this place in a lot less than 24 hours. Oh no, a hidden transmitter. Does it look something like... Uh, this? Mm. Painlessly removed from uh, a lower right molar. This one. While you're unconscious. That's so easy. Easily deactivated. But don't worry. Next time we'll have it made in Japan. Well, I'll see you in, um, let's say, 24 hours, Mr. President. Take you into danger, Sharon. That much at least I can do for Bernie. Thanks for your help. Thanks for my help. Open this door!
Buongiorno. Qui sopra. Cosa volete? Uh, speak English? I, I was wondering, uh, do, do you know anything about the people that, that used to... Buongiorno! Mi dispiace a disturbare. Dovete attraversare il cancello. Il sotterraneo era in rovina quando i miei hanno comprato la casa. Come distrutto da un'esplosione. Ma hanno trovato qualcosa nelle macerie che sicuramente apparteneva alla gente che voi state cercando. Chissà perché mia madre l'ha conservato. Forse adesso ha trovato la risposta. Oh, look. What is that? It's a wire recorder. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Ask them if there's anyone around here who fixes old radios and stuff. For over 20 years, I see nothing like this. Play that again? Of course, signore. I don't suppose it would do as much good to look him up in the book. No, I don't suppose it would. Why don't you just take out an ad for him in the classifieds? You know, outdated superhero seeks billionaire former child prodigy with one hand and a heavily reconstructed face. Discretion assured. All right already. I'm sorry I tried to ditch you. What do you want me to do, eat dirt?
Did you found it? That is like so bitchin'. I thought this bag was like totally history. Grazie. Ships. Would you stop being so paranoid? miles down the coast. As long as we're in the neighborhood. What do you say we drop in? I always did want to meet the president. Valentina! Stay out of sight and let me do my job. We have like the worst luck. Hang on tight. Word of advice, my friend. All this frowning all the time is very, very bad. If you are not careful, you will end up with terrible lines. Blood pressure is normal, white 
Red cells count up 20%. So the reflex is slowed by 7%. Simplify it! You say we can't do the implantation yet. I can't guarantee you that it will work until blood pressure comes up a few points. And when will that be? To be absolutely sure, let's say 20 minutes. such a tragedy, Tom. Don't you understand that your people will be happier with their new president? <laughs> See you in 20 minutes. complicity between the Soviets and the uh, kidnappers. A little obvious. It's always worked before. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. It won't be long now, General. gonna blow it this time. Mr. President, it's over. You really need me for your little plan, don't you? Of course. Then you can't win. Give this to you. Good. 
was the last thing he said before he died. They got him. They've got Sharon. I know. Wait on the North Shore. There's some caves there at the base of the cliff where you can hide. I'll come and get you when we get out. What, are you kidding? I'm not bailing out on Captain America. Let's go. so unchanged, but it doesn't matter, my brother. Today, you will die. Fifty years ago, you were Dr. Vasselli's ridiculous idea. You remain a clownish symbol that no one cares about. I care. You care. Then come to me, my brother. Let us see if this heart of yours is stronger than my hate. a poor choice, little brother. Stop calling me your brother!
Mr. President! Thanks. I'd rather see you get it slow. That was a gun. This is a detonator. Did you really expect me to be taken alive? As far as megatons go, the device this is attached to may be small potatoes. But it's enough to ensure that oh, all of Southern Europe will be off limits for, say, about a century and a half. It will take a decade or two. Seventy million lives, out like brief candles. And Captain America can do nothing about it. Send our tortured souls to rest. Speak for yourself. <laughs>
In Rome today, 116 nations agreed to an environmental protection treaty. In a brief statement after the signing, President Kimball asked that we remember the many people who have gallantly sacrificed all to make our world a better place to live. The President closed his statement with this odd message. To Captain America, wherever he is, we are all back in the fight. Liberty and justice, every free man is born of you.